Obed Akruke's exploits began three years ago at the Nayoko No. 2 Junior High School. He has successfully completed a non-formal education program which gave him the very basics. It was then a difficult decision for a father of nine children who were all in school. And this, my son, he is in primary one. And this one is KG2. And this one is KG1. And this one is KG1. They are elders J JSS and they are elder brothers and they are senior high. However, with support from an understanding wife, he persevered. In spite of a number of busy schools in Nayoko No. 2, none of Obed's family members had formal education. As a result, they have to rely on others to write or read letters, even if they were confidential. I look around the whole world and I see if you don't go to school, you are last. Because of that, and I say, I'll go to school and learn, write, and get my certificate. Initially, it was not an easy task, but soon his presence led to a high level of discipline in the school. He had a lot to do and worked even harder, including having to adapt an all-year-round gardening in order to meet the needs of his family. Here, yeah, one problem is that we don't have land mark to farm. Land we farm here is small, small. For that one we used to eat, that one we used to take care of ourselves. Say so there is not any uh, much work here. To him, education has no end and would like to continue if he performs creditably in the BC. I'm ready. If I'm passed, I will go to technical school. I want to go to technical school and learn building and construction.